Oh, hello there. Come a little closer. Allow me to share with you my two cents about steroid use in the Hall of Fame. In recent years, voters have been faced with the difficult decision of voting in Barry Bonds and Roger Clemens, two alleged steroid users who should have been in long before this year. And just two examples out of several who have displayed stunning career lengths and statistical dominance, but have become merely an afterthought in the voting process because of suspicion their numbers were the result of steroids. Those who are against voting these players in rely on the character clause to determine the status of potential candidates. It's an integrity thing. They don't deserve to be honored among the game's greatest players. But here's the thing, they do. The Hall of Fame is indeed named the Hall of Fame and not the Hall of Exceptional Character. Let's not become the moral police here when there are known racists, drunks, gamblers, abusers, and alleged PED users already in Cooperstown. This character clause has been selectively enforced since the moment it was built. You're telling me Bud Selig got in and the steroid users he did nothing to stop until the damage was done are not? On what planet does that make sense? He didn't care about steroids when the sport was making bank. Vote these guys in. They know the stigma of the steroid era will hover over them forever. But vilifying PED and steroid users more than racist and cheaters is not logical, but hypocritical. And that's my two cents. Nesson After Hours is back after this.